It all began with a seemingly simple sentence, uttered during a late 2024 earnings call. Elon Musk didn't build suspense or build anticipation. He got straight to the point when announcing what many already consider the beginning of a true technological revolution, the arrival of Tesla's aluminum ion battery. This revelation represented not just another innovation, but a strategic move that hits the most sensitive point in the global electric vehicle market, its near total dependence on China. The reaction was immediate. Executives tensed, investors turned on their radars, and Western governments began paying closer attention. Musk wasn't simply announcing the launch of a new component. He was signaling something much bigger, the beginning of the end of a trillion-dollar empire. After all, China controls about 95% of the global production of lithium iron phosphate batteries, known as LFPs, which power most affordable electric cars on the planet. This dominance didn't emerge by chance. It was carefully built over nearly a decade, fueled by more than $50 billion in government subsidies since 2015. The result was the formation of a veritable global monopoly masquerading as competitiveness. Furthermore, 85% of battery cell manufacturing capacity is also concentrated in China. In practical terms, owning or wanting an electric car today means relying on some link in a Beijing-controlled supply chain. But even the most solid empires have their weak points. In China's case, this point is buried alongside lithium. This metal is the basis of virtually all modern batteries, but its global reserves total only 51 million tons, with 70% concentrated in just three countries. Worse still, about 90% of the lithium mined on the planet is refined in China itself, creating a frightening bottleneck for the entire global industry. This bottleneck could quickly turn into a crisis. A trade embargo, a diplomatic dispute, or even a simple logistical problem could cause the entire global electric vehicle production to collapse like a house of cards. The threat is not only geopolitical, but also environmental. Lithium extraction and processing releases tons of carbon dioxide, paradoxically ensuring that the green solution of EVs continues to fuel the climate crisis. This is where Musk's masterful move emerges. By proposing a cleaner, cheaper, faster, and, above all, freer alternative to Chinese dependence, he not only presents a technology but also inaugurates a new narrative. Aluminum, a recyclable, common metal present in every kitchen on the planet, takes on an unexpected role, that of protagonist of an energy rebellion few believed possible. The announcement wasn't just bold. It completely reconfigures the global energy power game. By betting on a battery that can be produced with local raw materials, Musk offers the United States the chance to regain control of a strategic sector that had been slipping through its fingers for years. Unlike lithium, which requires heavy mining and complex international trade routes, aluminum can be extracted, processed, and reused within U.S. borders. For China, this move is tantamount to an earthquake. If the world adopts a technology that dispenses with lithium, the entire structure built with decades of investment could quickly crumble. The risk is no longer theoretical. Tesla is already testing the new batteries on a pilot scale, and Beijing's response time is running out. What seemed like unshakable supremacy is now beginning to show cracks, opened with the simplicity of an abundant and familiar metal. The delicate nature of the situation makes everything even more tense. Trade relations between the United States and China remain turbulent, and any technological advancement that allows Americans to reduce their exposure to the Chinese supply chain is considered a national priority. The automotive sector, especially electric vehicles, is considered strategic for both economic security and the energy transition. The aluminum battery, therefore, is not just engineering. It's a chess piece on the geopolitical board. The world is watching closely because if Musk truly succeeds in developing an efficient, safe, and affordable aluminum-based battery, he won't just be challenging a Chinese empire. He'll be reshaping the global energy matrix. This isn't a quiet battle, but a billion-dollar dispute with direct repercussions on consumers' wallets, countries' political decisions, and the future of any industry that relies on portable energy. When we talk about an energy revolution, we tend to imagine distant, complex, and nearly impossible to understand discoveries. But the change Musk proposes features aluminum, the same metal that wraps sandwiches and coats pans. Now, this metal could become the oil of the 21st century. With over 700 million tons of known reserves, 30 times more than lithium, 
aluminum is emerging as a clean, abundant, and affordable energy source. The detail that truly transforms the scenario is that aluminum doesn't depend on a handful of unstable countries or refineries concentrated in geopolitically risky regions. It's spread across the planet, including the United States. This means a factory can be supplied with local raw materials without being subject to tensions with China or the brutal fluctuations of the international market. It's as if energy independence were built into the technology itself. In a world where batteries occupy the role that oil did in the last century, controlling the source means controlling the destination. But aluminum's advantage goes far beyond geopolitics. From a technical standpoint, these batteries completely eliminate the need for cobalt and nickel, two extremely expensive metals, once again largely controlled by Chinese companies. Besides increasing production costs, these elements are subject to constant allegations of environmental and labor violations during their extraction. By removing cobalt and nickel from the equation, Tesla not only reduces costs, but also takes an ethical and strategic stance. The aluminum cell design is simpler, allowing for faster manufacturing with fewer complex steps. This reduces costs, reduces the need for expensive machinery and enables production scalability without overloading existing industrial infrastructure. Estimates suggest a reduction of up to 52% in manufacturing costs. This data alone would be enough to scare competitors, but it only scratches the surface of the revolution. The impact goes far beyond finances. Because aluminum batteries are lighter, they significantly reduce vehicle weight, which improves performance, extends range, and reduces energy consumption per kilometer driven. In other words, it's not just about savings on the assembly line, but also in the daily use of each vehicle. Lightness, combined with efficiency, creates a virtuous cycle. Less weight means less strain on the engine, less wear on components such as tires and brakes, and more agile performance. Furthermore, this technology doesn't compromise durability or safety, two fundamental pillars for the acceptance of any innovation in the automotive sector. This strengthens Tesla's proposal not only as a bold idea, but as a tangible and advantageous project on all fronts. Another crucial factor is recyclability. Aluminum is one of the easiest metals to reuse, with recycling rates reaching 95% without loss of performance. This paves the way for a circular economy unprecedented in the sector. Old batteries can be transformed into raw materials for new generations. The environmental impact and disposal costs are drastically reduced while entire cities can become energy suppliers using only their recycled waste. Imagine a car whose battery was made with recycled aluminum from your own city. That's the scale of the transformation at stake. Tesla, by choosing this path, isn't just launching a new technology. It's showing the world that it's possible to break away from the traditional model, dependent on foreign interests and questionable practices. The choice of aluminum is, in essence, a gesture of strategic provocation. We don't need your lithium anymore. And this provocation gains strength because it's not based on rhetoric but on numbers and prototypes. This shakes the foundations of an entire industry that seemed consolidated. Companies, governments, and competitors are already realizing that Tesla isn't just launching a new product, but charting a new path for mobility. A path based on autonomy, abundance, and accessibility. And at the center of it all is aluminum, a previously underestimated metal that could become irreplaceable in the race for future mobility. Now that aluminum has firmly established itself as part of the conversation, a direct comparison with the former king of batteries, lithium, is inevitable. And the contrast is so stark that veteran engineers are forced to rethink long-held concepts about energy storage. The first point is recharge time. While a lithium battery takes hours to reach a satisfactory charge, Aluminum batteries promise full recharges in just a few minutes. This change isn't just a breakthrough. It's a paradigm shift. Imagine parking your car, grabbing a coffee, and returning to find it fully charged. This is the level of simplicity that Tesla aims to operate at. But the surprise doesn't stop there. Another factor is the number of recharge cycles. While lithium batteries last 1 100 to 3000 cycles before losing efficiency, Aluminum batteries can reach an impressive 15,000 cycles. In practice, this means the battery can outlast the car itself. For consumers, this longevity is revolutionary. Many would never again have to worry about replacing batteries or the gradual loss of capacity over the years. 
The peace of mind of knowing that, in the tenth year of use, the battery will perform as well as it did in the first is an attraction that no advertising needs to reinforce. And safety is also a game changer. Lithium batteries have always carried the stigma of fires and explosions, especially during charging or in extreme temperatures. Cases of car fires have made headlines in several countries. Aluminum eliminates this risk. These batteries don't spontaneously combust, don't explode, and remain stable even at temperatures ranging from minus 50 degrees C to plus 150 degrees C. C. This climate robustness is especially valuable in regions with harsh winters or scorching summers. Furthermore, the weight difference also directly influences the driving experience. Aluminum batteries are about 65% lighter than their lithium-ion counterparts. Lighter vehicles mean more agile handling, greater energy efficiency, and less component wear. It's a package of benefits that translates into savings for the consumer and superior performance on the road. In laboratory tests, the results are impressive. Even after 2,000 complete recharge cycles, aluminum batteries maintain approximately 97% of their original capacity. This stability is extremely rare in energy storage technologies. For drivers who rely on their cars daily, the confidence that performance will not degrade over time is an invaluable advantage. Another relevant factor is the cost per kilowatt hour. Currently, the average lithium ion battery costs around $150 per kilowatt hours. Aluminum, on the other hand, could reduce this cost to just $50, a 75% reduction. This not only represents large scale savings for automakers, but also signifies the democratization of electric cars. With lower costs, these models become accessible to millions of consumers who previously could only dream of this technology. And it's precisely at this intersection of cost, accessibility, and performance that Tesla targets with surgical precision. Musk knows that the key to mass adoption of electric vehicles lies in breaking the psychological barrier of price. The goal isn't just to sell cheaper cars, but to change the collective perception of what's possible in terms of electric mobility. Fears about charging times, fires, and degradation are a thing of the past in this new reality. When observing the direct impact of this innovation, it becomes clear that this isn't just about automotive technology, but a true shift in the balance of global power. Tesla is transforming the transportation sector into something that goes far beyond cars, planes, ships, trains, and even energy storage systems for entire cities could soon benefit from the efficiency of aluminum. This represents a future where clean energy isn't a distant promise, but a practical and affordable reality. Governments are paying attention because they understand that adopting this technology could redefine entire economies. China, which built its global influence on lithium and the battery supply chain, may see its bargaining power diminished. Meanwhile, Countries rich in aluminum reserves, but lacking prominence in the current lithium industry, are gaining new relevance. It's a domino effect that extends far beyond automakers and reaches sectors such as mining, energy, and infrastructure. In the United States, Musk's move strengthens the discourse of energy independence. The idea of producing cars equipped with batteries made from local materials on American soil fuels both the economy and politics. For Washington, Reducing its vulnerability to China is not just a desire, but a strategic necessity. Aluminum emerges as a practical answer to a problem that until now seemed unsolvable. For the average consumer, the revolution also brings tangible changes. The reduced cost of batteries will finally allow electric vehicles to become cheaper than combustion-powered cars. This paves the way for mass adoption that doesn't depend solely on government incentives. Instead, it will be the strength of the market combined with the desire for savings and practicality that will drive the transition. The era of subsidies may be numbered. Another transformative factor is charging time. Many drivers' biggest fear has always been being stuck waiting long times at charging stations. With aluminum batteries, this problem disappears. The ability to recharge a vehicle in minutes, comparable to the time it takes to refuel a gasoline car, eliminates one of the last psychological barriers to the widespread adoption of electric vehicles. Competitors are already feeling the pressure. Traditional automakers, which have invested billions in partnerships with Chinese lithium-ion manufacturers, now face the risk of seeing their strategies suddenly become obsolete. Adapting to aluminum will require not only new contracts but also profound changes to production lines and research centers. Tesla, by getting ahead, creates a gap that will be difficult to bridge. 
From an environmental perspective, the benefits are also significant. While lithium requires devastating extraction processes that consume enormous volumes of water and degrade entire ecosystems, aluminum can be obtained with much less impact. Furthermore, the near-complete recycling potential makes this the first truly circular battery in modern history. This means drastically reducing the accumulation of electronic waste and the associated environmental costs. The social impact of this change cannot be ignored. Today, much of the cobalt used in lithium batteries comes from mines in Africa, where reports of child labor and inhumane conditions are frequent. By eliminating the need for this metal, Tesla also cuts the automotive industry's ties to reprehensible practices. It's a step that could reshape the industry's image in the eyes of increasingly conscious and demanding consumers regarding sustainability. Projections for the future are ambitious. Analysts estimate that if aluminum technology takes hold in the next five years, the battery market could grow at an even faster pace, but with a fairer and less concentrated distribution. Influential power will no longer be centralized in a single country and will spread across the globe. This creates a scenario of greater geopolitical balance, something rare in the history of energy. Musk, for his part, knows he's not just launching a new battery. He's writing the next chapter in the history of global energy. Just as oil shaped the 20th century, batteries will shape the 21st. The difference is that this time the raw material could be something as common as aluminum, a metal found in soda cans, electrical cables, and airplane structures. The genius lies in transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. This vision aligns with the bold style that characterizes Musk's trajectory. Rather than simply competing with the established rules, he prefers to change them. It's not just about challenging China or reducing costs. It's about ushering in a new paradigm where energy is more affordable, vehicles are more sustainable, and dependence on a few global players is no longer a problem. This mindset is what places Tesla in a unique position in the market, and the strategy isn't limited to the automotive sector. Aluminum batteries can be applied to storage systems for homes, industries, and even entire power grids. Imagine a city powered by solar energy during the day and powered by aluminum batteries at night. This is not only feasible, it's scalable. The impact on the stability of power grids and the reduction of dependence on fossil fuels could be enormous. Energy companies are already beginning to envision scenarios in which aluminum replaces lithium in large-scale stationary systems. The lower cost, combined with superior durability, makes this alternative much more attractive. This diversification of applications further increases the market potential, making aluminum a solution not just for cars, but for the entire global energy infrastructure. If we look at history, we realize that great revolutions never happen in isolation. They emerge when a technical innovation meets a social need and a political opportunity.